Hmm, doesn't look like anything that that mysterious forest guardian could possibly want is inside of our prey pile. I suppose that means we must go a hunting. But hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails and Creek's journey. And we are recovering from a very late night of hanging out at the temple and learning from Coco, the mysterious teleporting cat, that there is actually a forest guardian who needs our help. And that is exactly the kind of mysterious mystery that makes someone like Creek very, very happy. So I know that Creek is going to be very excited to actually be able to research some more about this interesting conspiracy of some sort of forest guardian. Slip, Slip, have you ever heard anything about this? Greetings, kitten. Where are you off to? Make sure you clean your fur out on a regular basis. Don't want nasty thorns and brambles on it when you go to lay down at night. That's very nice of you, Slip. Here, why don't you go ahead? Do you want, actually, you know what, Slip? I bet you would appreciate a good mouse. Let's give Slip a mouse. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thanks for the gift, kitten. You're welcome, Slip. And let me go ahead. Maybe the Oracle knows something about the mysterious forest guardian. If anyone should, should definitely be our Oracle. I saw you coming from afar. What is it you seek? Visions of the future? Let's see what the stars portend. A darkness descends upon the land as the stars hide themselves from view due to their impenetrable shield of cloud. Thus my eyes see and nothing more. The veil has passed. Oh, well, it might be a cloudy day or maybe that's a cloudy outlook. You're not being able to peer into our future because it's too shrouded in mystery. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, hopefully Creek will be able to be okay. Nil, how are you doing? Oh, hi. You startled me. How are you today? Winter's pretty dull, but the snow sure is pretty. All right, let's see if we have something. Maybe he will enjoy a toad? Let's try giving him a toad. Because we love toads. Ah, there we go. We finally found something that Neil likes. I have offended this cat so many times giving him birds and things like that. This is for me. Thank you for your kind gesture. I appreciate this. You're welcome, Neil. All right, so at least we managed to handle all of that. And let's go talk to Alyssa, our colony leader. I wonder if we're going to have a festival. Oh, I guess it would be on the 10th, not today, because it's the 8th, huh? Creek, it's good to see you. You have proven your worth to the colony, Creek. I have a lot of respect for what you do. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. We finally have like one, a little bit of respect from Alyssa. I have been so worried about that. That is such a huge relief. Alyssa, can I give her, let's give her a harvest mouse. Well, I guess I shouldn't give away all of our food, but this is very, it's a very exciting day. For me, that's very thoughtful of you. Thanks. Good, good, good. All right, so it looks like we're in good standing with the colony and we're actually beginning to figure out Savannah crashing into her across the ice. That's so cute. Creek, I was just thinking about you. Stay a while and let's chat. As much as I don't like winter, I do enjoy curling up in front of a good fireplace. Savannah, how do you know what a fireplace is? Hmm? Oh, and we keep going. That was adorable. All right, guys. Well, Creek is still out on the hunt. Let's see if we can find some of what we are searching for up to the northern region, poking around the mountains, especially now that we know a little bit more about the mysteries of this forest, namely that there's a forest guardian who apparently needs our help. That means I think we're going to have to start searching further afield than just inside of the Mystic Colony territory territory and Creek's eyes are turning north to the mountains during this long winter when unfortunately we also can't eat our own delicious fish. Come on, bunny. Yes! Oh, I'm so relieved. We'll be able to eat later today. Thank goodness. I think a bunny is actually one of the things that the forest guardian needs too. And there's the, the quarry. I really thought we would spend pretty much the entire winter digging around in the quarry and digging up the shiny gemstones. But Creek loves a good mystery more than anything. And since it doesn't seem like anyone else in the mystic colony knows much about the forest guardian, we're going to start seeing if we can find somewhere to query the mountain colony. Breaking through colony barriers and being able to understand understand the mysteries of the land is what Creek is all about. Hey, turn around. Turn around, bird. Turn around. Yes, good bird. Yes! All right, now you're going to be my lunch. She's getting so much better at hunting. Hopefully, we'll be able to continue to level up her hunting skill soon. It just requires a lot of skill points as you get up in the higher levels. Oh boy, we are really deep. We are actually really deep inside of mountain territory now. This is 97% controlled by the mountain territory, the mountain clan. I don't know, like if we keep moving further in, that's, that's basically going to be our goal today. 
descending deeper and deeper in mountain territory, trying to look and trying to see if we can find a cat who we can actually talk with. Ah, dang it, I forgot to jump in time. We'll have to see if we can find a cat who we can discuss the mysteries of the forest and the mysteries of the land with. But most of the cats, because they are so eager to defend their territory and defend the food that we are kind of just like swiping, <laughs> will most likely not give Creek the time of day. So we just have to keep moving till we find a cat who will let us talk to them. Also, I have to admit the mountains are actually quite beautiful. Hey, hey bunny, my food, there we go. All right, the mountains are really gorgeous now that we're up here. I love the trees everywhere. It's so pretty. And I think the bunnies are actually something very important that the forest guardian actually needs. So hopefully we'll be able to turn that into them too. All right, let's come on down. We provided them with plenty of mice, if I remember correctly, for one of those mysterious rune stones. The lone sentinel. What's over here? Oh, it's so quiet. It doesn't seem like there's anybody else around this mountain. There's no other paw prints in the snow. There's just a bird flying away. Wow. The snow is quite beautiful, but it's kind of lonely up here. Here we are at the river loop at least. Whoops, all right, let's go ahead. We'll have a little snack of one of the doves that we found on our way here. We're really, really close. We're like literally right below the heart of the mountain colony territory. Are we gonna run into any other cats yet? Hello? 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 Oh my goodness. Can I just walk straight in? Hello? Where are all the mountain cats? <gasps> Hey, watch where you're going. This isn't your colony. This is Mountain Domain, and we don't like cats from other colonies spying on us. If you have business with the Mountain Domain, I'll be the one to handle it. Just don't try anything sneaky. Uh, hello, Jag. Oh my goodness. Huh? What's the big idea? If you bring gifts for the Mountain Domain, show them to me and I'll inspect them. Who are you anyway? You don't look familiar. It's my job to keep cats out who don't <laughs> to keep out cats who don't belong here away from our homes. I'm the town guard for the Mountain Domain. Oh boy, if I try to just gently go, ah! <laughs> All right, so that will be it. Jag will not let us in. I can't believe we came this far. And I know handing over big food might not be a very good idea. Well, let's not give him a frog because it's too obvious. Let's give him a winter berry. That seems to be a pretty, just anybody could have picked up a winter berry anywhere sort of thing. Frogs are clearly from the mystic territory and I don't know if we want to drag Alyssa into this. Not when we're just trying to investigate mysteries on our own. All right, all right, give give the winter berries to Jag. Give the winter blueberries to the mountain domain. Let's give them to Jag and see what happens. Hmm, you leaving this for me? Okay, that, that might have helped a little bit. Ah, dang it, all right, let's try a dove. I mean, a dove could have come from anywhere. All right, let's give the dove to Jag. This is too good a gift for Jag, but I'll gladly accept. Nice, all right. So I guess we'll just have to continue to give Jag tons and tons of gifts, but this is our attempt to enter the mountain colony. That is so cool. So I guess if we continue to speak with Jag, then eventually we will actually raise our reputation with that colony. So because we kept giving all of the gifts to Jag directly and not to the colony itself, I think that's why we haven't shifted our reputation with them at all. So let's actually try giving one more gift and then we'll seem like we're just a casual cat who happens to have lots and lots of extra food. Just, just, we're really good hunters. We've got enough that we can just go ahead and give the rabbit to the mountain domain. Your reputation with the mountain domain is 2.4%. Wow, Jag is very specific. <laughs> But there we go, guys. So that's how you can start raising your reputation with the different colonies. Uh, thankfully, it didn't come at sacrificing some of our reputation with the Mystic Colony. But who knows? Hopefully, we'll be able to stand between all three colonies. But considering how often we have fought and even attacked and killed some of the cats from Forest Colony, I'm, I'm not sure how building a relationship with Forest Colony is supposed to work. Not to mention... If we could, I think in Creek's heart of hearts, if we could take this over as territory for Mystic Colony, I mean, it's not ideally suited, but push come to shove, we wouldn't exactly turn the opportunity down, you know what I mean? 
So, hmm, that raises a lot of questions. And then I did use up all of the prey we caught that we were going to give to the Forest Guardian. But being able to work with the other colonies and start to unravel their mysteries is probably pretty important when it comes to figuring out what happened to the Forest Guardian, since balance is uh, the whole point of the game. All right, oh, hey, we found a nifty little bridge right here. <gasps> and a frog! It's Creek's favorite, frogs and toads. You're mine now, oh yeah. There we go. And that also helped with her experience a little bit. But maybe we will go down to the mines pretty soon, my friends. Oh, and let's get away before snow sees us. But we'll go down to the mines pretty soon, my friends. As soon as we have a little bit more food, at least. Because it is very important for us to get more experience. And I'm beginning to wonder if maybe there's something to fight down in the mines. Maybe the rocks themselves, or at least the bats that wander by. Come here, Dove. Yes. Oh, she's such a better hunter now. And we might be able to get our hands, or our paws, I should say, on the pieces that we need in order to... Ooh, and let's grab this rose, don't mind me. To get enough experience to really start upgrading our skills. But let's come check on the forest guardian once more. Hello, Coco. So we need a rabbit, a squirrel, and a black rabbit. I have the rabbit, at least. All right. There we go. Now just two things left and then we'll be able to help out the forest guardian and hopefully heal the forest. I think Creek is really falling in love with this place. She is really beginning to consider this place home and I could see how she wouldn't want to see anything bad happen to it. Coco? The strange markings on the arcane pillar seem like types of prey. Maybe you should try catching them and lying them down at the pillar's base. Of course, of course, Coco. All right, so it seems like there's two, four, six pillars. We can put uh, two, two, and two together to make, a, to make a mouse, at least. So I'm pretty sure Creek knows that there's going to be a lot more prey we have to catch. So it's going to be really important to start stockpiling a lot of it. But at the same time... I would very, very much love to be able to expand our den soon so that we can start building that garden. But it's kind of sweet to imagine that we have to wait. Let's go ahead and go to sleep really quickly. But it's very sweet to imagine that maybe we have to wait till spring to expand our den. And so when we do, Mossy can come down from down south and she can actually spend time with us and help us in getting the garden going on the inside of our den. I really love that idea too. All right. Oh. And there's nobody here telling me about a festival for tomorrow. I could have sworn that, I mean, it's the 9th. Does that mean we're not getting together at the sacred temple and we're not going to have a festival tomorrow? Huh. Well, I mean, I guess we'll just have to wait till Alyssa wakes up and then we'll have to talk to her about it. But all right, guys. Wee! <laughs> all right let's go ahead let's eat a frog let's stretch our legs and then i guess perhaps today we will spend our time searching out a black hair and a squirrel Alyssa, creek it's good to see you do you think oh here we go do you think you'll be going to the winter festival it's tomorrow at the sacred temple if you'd like to attend oh you bet your bunches we will Alyssa. Whee! Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. I've also heard that it is one of your guys' favorite festivals, so hopefully tomorrow we will be able to either find the squirrel or the black hair, or at the very least, go and be able to enjoy the winter festival. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.